Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. It's a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. We continue our mini-series on beautiful Eucharist, written by Matthew Kelly and the Friends at Dynamic Catholic. Today we talk about Chapter 1. Chapter 1 is written by Jackie Francois Angel. And the chapter is called, Mass Was Boring Until This Happened. If you're familiar with Jackie, you know that she continues to be a very powerful Catholic speaker that travels throughout Canada and the United States and perhaps internationally, speaking about her faith and how the Lord has touched her lives in so many ways. In her chapter, in this beautiful resource, beautiful Eucharist, Jackie talks about having grown up in faith as a lukewarm Catholic. And she talked about her experience of Mass being very boring. It wasn't until she was in high school that she came to realize the beauty of the Eucharist. For the first 18 years of her life, Jackie kind of was going through the motions, living as a Catholic, but perhaps not going as deep as she could. Then she had an experience which changed her. She said that while I had received Jesus thousands of times in the Eucharist in my first 18 years of life, my eyes were open to the beautiful encounter relationship in covenant where Jesus was the bridegroom and I was his bride. I learned that every Mass is a wedding feast, a foretaste of the eternal wedding feast of heaven, and that the Eucharist is where we become one flesh with God, our beloved. So for Jackie and each of us, as we come to understand the Mass as this wedding banquet, this beautiful feast where Christ is the bridegroom and she his bride and you his bride, it allows each of us to come to understanding the beautiful richness of it. Cardinal Ratzinger, the future Pope Benedict XVI, wrote, In the Eucharist, a communion takes place that corresponds to the union of man and woman in marriage. Just as they become one flesh, so in communion we all become one spirit, one person in Christ. So friends, Jackie reminds us of the great importance of becoming one with God when we receive the Eucharist. This oneness, this unity is transformative for us. God doesn't need us. We desperately need him. And so the Lord Jesus, in all of his wisdom and understanding, comes to us sacramentally. This oneness of being united with God is absolutely beautiful. Pope Benedict XVI is again quoted, the happiness you are seeking, the happiness you have a right to enjoy, has a name and a face. It is Jesus of Nazareth, hidden in the Eucharist. Again, the happiness you are seeking, the happiness you have a right to enjoy, has a name and a face. It is Jesus of Nazareth, hidden in the Eucharist. For each of us, friends, as we enter into this Eucharistic banquet, this unifying act that God wishes us to participate in, invites us to come to know him more freely, to open our hearts so that they can be flooded with his grace and love, holding nothing back. What are the ways in which we can be transformed? Let us pray. Jesus, give me the courage to let down my guard, the grace to stop resisting you in all the ways I do, and the wisdom to make time to sit in your presence each day. Amen. Once again, friends, I encourage you, if you have not yet purchased Beautiful Eucharist, to put it on your list. And I encourage you to pray for the great work that the friends there are doing and helping us to come to know Jesus more and more in the Eucharist, like in this beautiful resource, and throughout Lent, to grow through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. 
and thanksgiving for Jackie and her faith witness. As author of Forever, a Catholic devotional for your marriage, I encourage you as well to look up Jackie Angel's resources that she has produced as well. As a faithful Catholic, as a loving wife and mother, Jackie's faith witness inspires me, and I pray she might inspire you as well. And so as Catholics, we continue our Lenten journey today, focusing on this beautiful union between us and God in the Eucharist. For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.